Hey guys, it's Matt from UAS Videos. Today I just wanted to show you how to set up your DJI FPV remote controller with the new DJI Avada. And more specifically, how to do it to be able to fly manual mode. Uh, manual mode is basically full acro mode and it allows you to do uh, flips, rolls, and stuff like that. All those cool things that you see on those cool FPV um, videos. But there's a few steps that you have to take uh, in order to do that. Right out of the box, uh, it's not really set up for that. The first thing you're gonna have to do is adjust your throttle stick. Normally the throttle is stuck to the middle, so basically it's kind of like on this side where you just do that and it automatically springs back to the middle. So for mode two, what you're gonna wanna do is take off this back um, rubber right here and there's a 1.5 millimeter uh, screw. There's actually two of them. I believe one is called F1, the other one's called F2. Uh, basically, you're gonna tighten both of them. You're gonna start with F2. Uh, whenever you do that, you're gonna tighten it all the way down. It doesn't have to be extremely tight, just snug. And that's gonna basically make this throttle lever just kind of floppy. Uh, it's not gonna stick anymore in the middle. It's not gonna spring back or nothing like that. When you shake it, it's gonna just flop around. Um, after that, you're gonna tighten up F1, and that's gonna give you some spring tension back. Um, but it's not gonna make it stick in the middle now, it's just gonna be string tension, spring tension throughout the entire resolution. And you want this because you don't want your throttle stick flopping around, uh, but also you don't want it too tight because you wanna be able to do it pretty easily. All right, so that's it as far as setting up the hardware side of the controller, but now let's talk about the software. You're gonna have to upload the latest firmware onto the DJI FPV remote. Uh, basically, you're going to download the DJI Assistant 2 onto your computer and you're going to hook this up and you're going to upload the latest firmware, which as of right now is 02000. Um, if you don't do that, this is not going to bind, so you need to do that first. So once you have the latest firmware on the remote, you're now ready to bind. In order to do that, you need to power on the drone, the goggles, and the remote controller all at the same time. And with the power button, you're gonna push it and you're gonna hold it on the drone for about four to five seconds and the drone's gonna beep. And then same thing on the remote controller, you're gonna hold the power button for about four to five seconds and it's gonna start a sequence of uh, flashing lights. Uh, at that point, they should bind together as long as you have the latest firmware and everything should be good to go. Um, after that, technically you are ready to fly it. You could fly it in normal mode, you could fly it in sport mode. Uh, manual mode is kind of a weird custom mode, uh, but what this video is more about is setting up this remote to be able to specifically fly in manual mode. So now I'm gonna take you through the steps that I go through in order to set this up and get it ready to fly like a normal transmitter. So let's jump into the goggles and I'll show you how to set it up. Go into the settings and go down to settings, control, and remote controller, and go down to where it says custom mode, and you're gonna click that and change that to manual mode. Now it tells you a little bit about what I talked about earlier as far as changing the, the stick tension and stuff like that. So make sure you do that, confirm, and then come back. So this is kind of optional, you can kind of do whatever you want, but for C1, I like to make one press the ESC beeping, and basically if you lose your quad, you just push it, push it and then you'll, you'll hear your quad beeping. Uh, for double press on C1, I like to make that turtle mode. And turtle mode is basically where you, um, if you flip over, if you crash, you push turtle mode, you double press C1, and then the drone will flip itself back over. So that's kind of cool. Um, you can do whatever you want though for that one. Um, but for C2, this is how I like to set it up. And this is like more of a traditional style uh, transmitter. So top and mid is gonna be stop motors. So um, this will be your disarm button. But for bottom, which is furthest away from you, that'll be to start the motors. So um, that's, you know, there's a few different options here, but I like to make it start motors. Um, at that point, you can't really mess with mid um, but top and mid are both stop motors. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, another thing you want to do is go into your stick mode and make sure it's mode two. 
go to gain and expo and then go down here where it says M mode altitude limit and you want to turn that off so you don't want that to be checked um, because that will kind of hinder you from rotating you know all the way around uh, you can see some of my rates here this is for like a more of an indoor style and then I also recommend that you um, calibrate your RC as well all right so now that you've done that you're ready to fly this thing in manual mode uh, there's a few things that you want to do though before every flight kind of like a pre-flight checklist and basically um, It's just, just to make sure that you're good to go and especially in manual mode There's so many so much more stuff going on uh, that you've got to worry about and uh, so yeah Obviously the number one things are you know batteries uh, Antennas all that good stuff make sure nothing's loose on your drone uh, DJI has made it obviously very really good and consumer friendly, but there's still things that you want to make sure I've even seen some people uh, had loose motor screws and stuff like that. Uh, so on the controller though, the most important thing is to make sure your throttle is all the way down. Uh, when you're flying manual mode, this throttle has to be totally zeroed out before you start. Um, after that, flick it to manual mode. And then this switch over here, the one that we programmed in the goggles, uh, the top two positions are basically disarm or they're not going to do anything when it's already disarmed but whenever you flick it all the way away from you, that's gonna start the motors. Uh, so at this point, you're ready to go. If you give it throttle, it'll lift off. Uh, if you simply kinda you know, do this, you'll hear it. So yeah, you're ready to go. In order to disarm, you're going to flip that switch back to the middle position or the furthest you know, towards you. Like I said, the middle and the furthest towards you are the same thing at this point. Uh, but to arm, you're gonna do that. And then, if you're ever flying and you just freak out, instead of just killing the motors, uh, which is going to make you fall out of the sky, you can always switch it back to normal mode. And that will put you back uh, just like normal and basically no manual control at all. So that's it as far as setting up your DJI Avada for full manual mode. I hope you like this video. Uh, I hope this helps you. and you know, allows you to be able to experience full manual mode in a nice and comfortable way uh, that makes sense on the transmitter, uh, kind of like a normal transmitter would be uh, whenever you do your DIY builds. So yeah, I hope you like this and I'll see you in the next one.